only been waiting six years for Streets of Tarkov to come out, but finally it is here. It's just a shame that most people can't play it because they can't get decent frames on the map. However, as always, I am here to save your life because I love ad revenue and you guys love these videos. This is the settings guide for 0.13, the settings that I use to improve my FPS, granting me a stable 100 FPS while playing Streets of Tarkov in an online match on my 3090 system and on my 1080 test system I was getting around 70 to 80 FPS which isn't half bad for Streets of Tarkov at all. Before heading into the actual game settings I want to make this video as neat and tidy and quick and easy as possible so if you haven't already I've got an advanced optimization guide on the channel already which still works perfectly for 0.13 even though it was made a few months ago now so be sure to check that out if you haven't already I'll link that in the description and on a card annotation on screen for you but also just as a quick reminder make sure you've got your graphics drivers up to date and your latest windows and security patches are done on your system as well on top of this you can turn on game mode by pressing the start button on your taskbar typing game mode settings and turning that on this used to be really really poor but now it's actually quite good and it'll optimize your system for gaming and disable unnecessary background processes while games are running. And on top of this if you have a Nvidia GPU then you can open Nvidia control panel by clicking on the little up arrow in the bottom right of your taskbar, right clicking on the Nvidia icon and then clicking Nvidia control panel. Once this is open you can go to manage 3D settings, switch over to program settings and in the drop down list you can select escape from Tarkov from this list. If it isn't there, you could just click add and add the program by the saved file location wherever the game is saved on your PC. And then once it's open, you'll be able to change a bunch of settings. All the settings you see on screen, the things in bold are the things that I've changed. I go into more detail in the advanced optimization settings guide on the channel, but basically this will just optimize your computer to make sure that when Escape from Tarkov is running, a bunch of different things are working in the background on your card to make the game run as optimal as possible. The main thing is selecting the right GPU, making sure systems are running properly when the game is running and making sure texture filtering and all that sort of stuff is turned on while the game is running and also threaded optimization is working properly through the graphics card itself. This actually will improve your performance more than you might think. So if you are interested in making the most out of your FPS, then make sure you check out the video in the description because it really does go into a lot more detail and it will make your life a lot better when playing the game rather than just changing the settings. On top of this, we all know the post effects tanks about 5 to 10 FPS off of your system. If you can't afford to lose those 5 to 10 FPS and you've got a really bare bones system, then you can actually do NVIDIA filtering in here. It's not against any terms of service and you can change the brightness and vibrance and pretty basic settings through this actual NVIDIA control panel itself and you can just turn off post effects. It's all preference on what you choose on here but make sure you have a fiddle around with it by clicking on adjust desktop color settings on the left hand side menu and you can change it all in here. You can also change the resolution of your monitor as well, just make sure that's set to your native resolution and at the highest refresh rate possible to avoid choppy frames while playing the game. Now if we go into the settings and click on the game tab up the top, you'll see that most things here are personal preference, whether you want the quick slots hiding or always shown and stamina and stance icon shown and all that sort of stuff. There's only two tick boxes that we really need to worry about here. Automatic RAM cleaner and only use physical cores. I've got automatic RAM cleaner turned off because I have a high amount of RAM in my system. If you have 16 gigabytes or less, I'd recommend turning this on or finding a third party application that you can run in the background which automatically clears your RAM. A lot of third party applications actually do it better than the built in one in Tarkov but if you don't want to go through that hassle, you can turn it on directly in the game. Only use physical cores is a pretty interesting one as well. It will basically allow your computer to not use any logical cores. If your computer is switching between physical and logical cores, it can cause stuttering while playing the game. And if you've got a CPU that does hyper-threading, you're going to want to make sure that the core count is purely physical to get smoother frames possible. As for FOV and head bobbing, etc, that's all personal preference, but I choose max FOV to see more around me rather than seeing things slightly enlarged in the middle of my screen. 
Moving on to the game tab now, there are quite a lot of settings in here that have changed since the last time we made a video on this. The main thing you're going to want to check here though is your screen resolution is on your native resolution, your screen mode is set to full screen to make sure it's smooth and there's no input latency, your aspect ratio is set to your monitors 16 by 9 or 16 by 10 and you've got your overall graphics quality set to low because that requires you to change the least when you're actually going through the individual settings but it will change to custom by default when we start changing them below. So the first thing you're going to want to do, for me I use texture quality as high but if you've got a quite a low poor system then I would switch that to medium, that's what I had to do on my 1080 test system but for my main PC I use high. Shadow quality is low not only to improve FPS but to improve visuals as well. Shadows are brighter when shadow quality is set to low and you'll be able to see people hiding in darker areas a lot easier. Object level of distance quality is set to 2.5, any higher than this is pointless but any lower and your screen will start to look pretty jarring with pop-in and it just doesn't play for a good experience. Overall visibility I've set to 1500, no map is really large enough to have it any higher than this, you won't be seeing anything extra by turning this up, it will just be tanking the FPS. You can turn this down to 1000 and you still won't experience any issues, but 1500 gives you a little bit of clarity during foggy weather as well which is quite nice to have. If you can't handle the performance though, then drop it down to 1000. Any lower than that, you'll start to see pop in in the distance and when you're sniping or trying to get hits on players in the distance, they will start to pop in and it'll become pretty jarring and pretty annoying when you're trying to hit them. Anti-aliasing is gonna smooth out edges, so I've got this set to TAA high. Any other setting just doesn't look as good in my opinion and it does improve your performance quite a bit by having this on compared to other settings in this drop down list. Resampling is set to off, NVIDIA DLSS and AMD FSR is all set to off. If you want to play around with this, it really does depend on your system. You can turn it on and set it to balanced. I wouldn't go performance because it doesn't work that well, but I would play around with it. For me personally, on both of the systems I've tested this on, I prefer off. It actually makes my system run a lot smoother, but it is completely up to you. Have a little play around, go into some raids and see what you like more. HBAO is set to high performance and SSR which is screen space reflections that's all like the water reflections and window reflections etc that's set to low any higher than that yeah sure your game looks better but you will get a tank in your performance and that isn't good because it does tank quite a bit but the reason I don't have it off completely is because you can actually use the reflections to your advantage and see people a lot easier either in reflections of water or you can see them through windows a little bit easier during foggy weather as well. Anisotropic filtering is set to per texture. This works quite well to define edges and make things a little bit more sharper. You can see people a lot easier but having it on for everything is pretty pointless and it'll tank your frames. Having it set to per texture doesn't really take a hit in your performance but you will see things a lot clearer and you'll notice a slight more vibrance in the player models against backgrounds of surfaces as well so you can see them a little bit easier. Now you can use your NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency, I've got this set to on and boost, it's always a good thing to have, it's explained a lot better in other videos that go into more technicality about NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency, but it will reduce your system's input latency basically, so setting this to on and boost doesn't have an effect in your performance at all, but you will see a reduction in your input latency when you are fighting either AI or other players, so it's worth having this on. Now sharpness is quite interesting, the way sharpness works in Escape from Tarkov is basically the more sharpness you have it just layers and layers the same texture on top of the original texture to make it appear more sharper, therefore your system is rendering more and more objects just to make the game look sharper. Originally it is set to 0.7 and I have a fluctuate between this default setting or having it all the way off. If you are a streamer then this is going to really impact your visual fidelity on your stream because the stream is having to encode all of those extra layers so having the sharpness turned all the way off and streaming you'll get an improvement in your visuals then just add sharpness to the actual OBS scene or in your monitor settings and that will improve not only your performance a slight bit but it will also make your stream look visually appealing. If you don't want to go through that faff then it doesn't impact your performance too much having the sharpness turned up but I wouldn't have it turned all the way up because it doesn't look good and that will start to impact your performance. Lobby and game FPS limit is all set to max obviously any lower than that 
and you're going to start to get choppy frames and all of those tick boxes down the bottom are turned off. Grass shadows particularly because it just makes grass look darker and it allows players to hide in the grass a little easier and you won't be able to see them. So make sure everything's turned off there and you can move on. In post effects, as I mentioned at the start of this video, it does tank quite a bit of performance. If you can't handle the performance dip of having post effects turned on, then turn it off completely and change it in your monitor settings if you do want a bit more color. However, if you are just curious, then these are my post effects settings that I use. It gives a little bit more vibrance and clarity during foggy weather, but it doesn't make it look stupidly bright and stupidly vibrant to make it look like Fortnite. I think it's a pretty good balance and I like the way the post effects looks. Now moving over to sound. Binaural audio has been changed from Steam Audio to Oculus Audio. Personally, my least favorite out of all of them. Personally, if it was me and I was changing from Steam Audio to a completely other binaural audio system, I would change it to Google Resonance because that's the closest competitor to Steam Audio, but that's a completely different topic. Either way, this is not implemented properly at this point in time. They are making hotfixes to improve this, but there have been tons of people getting impacted with performance by turning binaural audio on and it impacts like 20, 30 FPS at a time. So if you're finding that all of a sudden your game was running great and now it's running like poo, it's probably because this is turned on. Give it a go, turn it off and let me know down below in the comments because it's always a good topic to discuss if that improved your FPS just by doing that. However, that means that some maps you're going to be hearing people like they're on top of you even though they're on the floor above you, etc, etc. There is a trade-off, obviously. I would personally keep it off for now. I have it turned off at the moment, but I will be keeping an eye on this space. And as soon as the relevant hotfixes have been implemented to make my system run properly with it turned on, then I'll be switching it back on because I do like to hear people where they're supposed to be. However, that isn't the case at the moment either because you can hear people behind you when they're actually in front of you at the moment and it's pretty jarring but it's a whole new system and it's just something we've got to get used to anyway so just as soon as they implement them hotfixes I'll be back on it don't you worry about that but that is pretty much everything that is all my settings for the point 13 a little different to my last video but they're pretty similar you know I haven't changed much and this is what gets me 100 FPS in streets on an online raid and during firefights and inside it just doesn't dip below 80 which is great, especially for streets. For some reason I find that streets is harder to run when you're inside of a building than when you're walking down the main street of Streets of Tarkov. It's really strange, but I suppose it's the way the game renders objects. Who knows? But either way, good settings, good FPS on the map, and it works on two systems that I've tested it on, one really high end and one pretty low end at this point in time. So hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, a like's always appreciated, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for all your support. I really do appreciate it. I'm back in Tarkov. Wow, how exciting. I'll see you soon. Happy New Year. Bye-bye.